Why is GTA 5 Online bad? Jack Knight Finnegan coming at you with another GTA 5 Online video. If you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more GTA 5 Online content. Let's get into this video. Why is GTA 5 Online banned? bad? Where do I start? The DLC and updates are all bark but no bite. For example, the Kyle Brico heist came and was going to be GTA 5's online biggest update ever. It literally died within two weeks at the most. Kyle Perico Heist is definitely the biggest money grinds in the game and allows you to grind solo, which is great, but it's very repetitious and tedious from finding the primary target to ducking and, do and dodging the guards. The Kyle Perico Heist also kills every grinding mission or sale in the game, which makes replayability non-existent due to boredom from doing the Kyle Perico Heist 90 damn times. Why is GTA 5 Online bad? Is actually Rockstar Games. Rockstar Games, it's actually your fault. You lack listening to your gaming community, like the Music Locker. Let's be honest. Other than going there to get your Kasaka for the first time, how many of you guys have been back to see what it's about? Let me know. Please leave a comment because I honestly want to know. The music locker looks no different than our nightclubs that we already own in this game, which is stupid to rehash an update they already had. Rockstar knows about the griefers and god mode glitchers, so what is Rockstar Games' response? Let's give these weirdos the orbital cannon. Tell me what other viable reason we need an orbital cannon other than a troll or some weird kid that's been getting picked on in the entire time that he's playing the game, gets mad, and sits in his facility, then uses it and laughs, as if he's taking over the world. In my honest opinion, I feel the people that run Rockstar Games are out of touch, meaning they don't play their own game. They sit in a boardroom all day talking about shark card sales, how many people are playing their game, and how much money they are making, versus what the community is actually playing. If they spent some time and played their game, I think that would revive Grand Theft Auto V and make it for a better experience. Why is GTA 5 Online bad? The loading times are or were horrendous. Rockstar had this game for eight years and couldn't figure out an efficient way to better loading times. While some kids snorting G Fuel spending endless nights in his mom's basement figured out and Rockstar Games compensated him, which was cool, but Rockstar Games, why the hell could you not figure this out? Oh, I know, because you don't listen to your community. You wait for something to go viral before your JC Penny suit ass notices it, and then you're like, oh, we should do something. That is absolutely pathetic, especially a company of your stature. Now, before people freak out in the comments, I know they're on the only upgrade PC loading times, but some people have noticed better loading times in their consoles as, as rather that be wishful thinking or true. That is what I've been hearing from my community. Some people say, well, you know, the PS4 has been loading up faster, the Xbox has been loading up faster, so on and so forth. But there has been no documentation that they fixed those loading times. So, who knows? Why is GTA 5 Online bad? I always cover the weekly update in GTA 5 Online, or for some of you, the Podium Car Update. Let's just say some of these weak-ass Podium Updates makes for unbearable weeks in Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. From putting cars on the podium that have been there two or three times already, or these trash sales and discounts. Put shit on sale in the game that people are excited about or use. Don't put dumb shit in the game that no one cares about. You guys always put sales out that are absolute trash. No one wants to buy that shit. We would have bought that shit already. We want to buy new shit, exciting shit, shit we use. Not lame brain, boring ass garbage. I remember not long ago, the legendary motorsports sales didn't change for almost seven weeks. Seven weeks! What the hell kind of lazy ass trash is that? Double money and triple money are trash for the most part, giving us stuff to grind on that is boring or overdone, or just not worth the time or effort. Rockstar Games, if you're listening, which I wish you would, make double money and triple money import-export, cargo warehouses, MC businesses, bunker and nightclub sales, VIP work, then switch off every other week. So you give the grinding community reason to grind 
something other than your boring ass Cal Perico heist. Let me add another thing. Arena War should always be doubled or even tripled the grind for the special vehicles because let's all agree, Arena War is ass and boring as shit. Why is GTA 5 Online bad? The player base, let's be honest, it's almost like Rockstar built the daycare and all these bastards are on the loose. It's like, welcome to fucking Baby's Kids. Have you guys ever seen Baby's Kids? If you haven't, highly recommend you check it out. Grand Theft Auto player base community is kind of like Baby's Kids. Everybody's just free roaming, doing whatever the hell they want. It's fucking chaos. It's crazy. We all know that. I mean, just walk a block in a free mode lobby. Just minding your business, you'll probably get shot or blown up or... Let's say you got your mic turned on, and not only will you get killed a billion times, you will get called racial slurs, your mama jokes, idle threats, be told you're broke as shit in your real life, you're a bum, L's, 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 I'm up 20 to 1, and the list goes on. Call me crazy, but I think this toxicity is also due to the game being boring as hell. People have nothing to do, and when you have nothing to do, why not piss someone's day off? Why not? Why is GTA 5 Online bad? Content creators, like it or not, at this point, we make your game, Rockstar. And what I mean by that is, if we're not happy, then no one else will be happy for the most part. Go to any YouTuber in the GTA community, you're going to see GTA 5 is dead, dying, trash, boring, toxic, and other negative adjectives. Can you blame them? Hell no! This game's almost 8 years old and it's played out. We play this game as an escape, to hang with friends, but Rockstar Games even took a shit on that with, with account resets, wiping out everything players had, and by never giving the community what they want. Like, where the hell is the panther statue in the Cal Perico heist? Why can't we be cops? Why don't we have mansions? Why don't we have various indoor places we can host car meets? I have so many whys that could be another video for another time. Comment if you want me to, to make a video on the whys of GTA Online. With all that being with all that being said, Rockstar Games, make your game better. Make your game exciting. Make us content creators wanting to get up every day and fire this game up. Or hell, make us content creators not want to go to sleep because the content we're getting is so unreal and so much to cover versus the same lame ass shit you guys have been and continuing to give us. To my fellow content creators that might be watching this, let me know if you agree or disagree. Until then, I will catch you on the next one. Boo!